Okay, we're going to copy a portion of our existing ground surface. Um, let's say we have a project that we're just we just need a part of our surface, a like little area right in here. We don't need to work with the whole thing. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a smart line, and I'm just going to draw an outline of the area that we want to copy. Um, I'm just going to freehand this shape just real quick. It's nothing uh, exact. Let me go ahead and close this. And it's the little portion of our overall surface that we're going to use. This, this little interior part right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Surface, Edit Surface, and I'll come down here to Copy Portion of Surface. surface. And our source surface is the existing ground, destination surface. Um, this will be the new surface. Just give it a name. I'll call it portion of existing ground. <coughs> and the clip by is either a fence or a selected shape. Uh, fence, we would have to have a predefined fence, which we don't. So we'll just lose, uh, use selected shape, which is going to be our uh, microstation line that we drew. And actually, you should select it before you even invoke the tool, because once we hit apply, then you see the little error message, selection set must contain at least one element. So let's go ahead and select that. Let me get back in our surface dialog. And now I'll click apply, close, and come over here and you see our new partial surface has been created. And I'll set that active. Um, let's go ahead and triangulate it. Select the surface, click apply, close, and let me uh, let me clear this microstation element. And uh, let me right click, and we'll go to properties. And you see our existing ground has like 14,000 points. And let's go to our new surface, and it ha only has like 1,200 points. So it's definitely just a small portion of our surface. I'm going to turn the contours off of our existing ground, close that out, and let's go ahead and display the contours of our new surface, select the surface, portion of existing ground, um, I'll go with an interval of just one, I guess, since it's a lot smaller. Preferences, existing surface, click apply, and there we go, there's our contours for our new surface, which as you see is only the portion contained within the red line.